everybody, this is uh, Master TTAP Trainer Margaret Berry here. And today I just wanted to share a little bit with you about the TTAP Fascia Fitness Series, what sets it apart from the other workouts in our TTAP arsenal, and a little bit about my experience with the workout. And also, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you two ways that you can stretch your fascia right now today. So you'll be able to add it to your workouts, just add it in throughout your day, it, the tips are pretty good. You're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna see them. So, let's first talk about fascia. So, what is fascia? Well, fascia is a connective tissue that runs head to toe. It's completely interconnected. It's like a big net in your body of fascia connective tissue. And fascia actually encases every single individual muscle fiber. So, if you think about all of the muscles that we have in our body not only just the muscles that are functional, like your bicep, but also your organs, um, any other connective tissue, of course, is made of fascia. So everything pretty much has fascia with it. And so anytime that you can target the fascia in your workouts, you can target more muscle. So this means that you can have a very effective workout uh, instead of just spending time you know, doing other crazy stuff like I used to do. Because I am like an exercise fanatic, okay? I used to do every single kind of exercise under the sun. And I found TTAP back in 2014, and I went to the TTAP retreat in 2016 because I won my category in the 2015 60-day challenge, which was super exciting. So I was there at the retreat, and this was the first time I'd actually heard anybody say anything about fascia. And Teresa really focused on a fascia that year in 2015, and they measure you before and after the retreat. So I was stunned to discover that I had lost 10 and a half inches in two days with doing extra focus on fascia, and I just could not believe it. And you know, those inches didn't just come back the next week. In other words, it was not water weight, it was actual inch loss and reduction in inflammation for my body. So the, the beauty of the TTAP Fascia Fitness Series, now all of the TTAP workouts will work fascia to some degree, but the beauty of the TTAP Fascia Fitness Series is that Teresa has made it extra effective in that it works fascia comprehensively from the head to toe and also works your muscles too and will get your heart rate up. So in I actually filmed a clinic this past February and I call it the Fascia Fitness Cardio Clinic. And it takes moves that Teresa used in the Fascia Fitness series and breaks them down really slow. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for you today with these two ways to stretch your fascia. I'm gonna show you in just a second. So I've actually been using these because I am currently three months out from having my son. I had him the end of July. So I'm needing to reconnect with my core and these fascia stretches have been invaluable for that. So let's get started. You can just do this right with me right now. So you wanna have start out and make sure that you have your feet at about a hip width. They can be hip width at max, all right? So I want you to have either hip width or you can do them a little bit narrower if you're comfortable. But the most important thing with those feet is you don't wanna roll in at the ankles. Did you see how I went? Rolled in at the ankles, my knees rolled in, and my hips rolled in. Fascia fitness is all about opening up the body and reconnecting. So you're gonna to wanna to think to have your knees go out, which automatically makes your ankles activate. You're turning out from the hip joint, from the knee joint, and the ankle, all the way. So from here, you're gonna actually take your hands and you're gonna do a mitten hand. Now mitten hand meaning your hands will come together, you're gonna to be pulling back at the fingertips and stretching your thumbs, that's the mitten hand. So the mitten hand for this first one which I will do facing you and then I'll turn to the side. The mitten hand is gonna be pushing down into your hips. Now when you push down into your hips, anytime that you lift the rib cage off of your lower body, you're actually stretching fascia, which is pretty cool. So you'll be pressing down. You're pressing down to stretch up. You're pulling your rib cage off of your hips. So it's like you're pulling everything off. Now do a big inhale. Big exhale here. Pull the ribs together as you keep pressing. These stay out all the time. Press, 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 and then exhale. So that's the sprint that I'll do to the front. Now I'll do this one to the side. You're gonna have your knees out. You wanna have your hands there. Remember that when you breathe, it's very important to breathe, obviously, in these moves. But when you breathe, your pelvic floor relaxes, your diaphragm moves up, and when you exhale, 
your diaphragm moves down, your pelvic floor contracts and your abs contract. So that's why it's important to breathe with these. Your hands will be facing down, knees stay out. So you're gonna think fingertips down as you press up tall. Now notice I'm not arching and I'm not tucking. I'll move my hair so you can see that better. I'm not arching out, I'm not tucking, I'm just lifting straight off of my hips. My knees stay out. I keep pressing the whole time. My shoulders come back as you inhale big. And then exhale big. Very good. Now, we'll do another one to the front. This one, you're gonna have your hands, you're gonna have your thumbs at the groin. So, find your hip bone like we did before, but slide your fingers in, wrap those hands around the thighs. Now, you're gonna be pressing down into the hips, so ready? Press into the hips and notice, see how you can see this really well when I do it to the front for this one, how my rib cage is lifting off of my hips and I'm a short torso and any time that I can lift my, get some space from rib to hip is a good thing. So press down, so you're pressing down and you stay up. Pressing down as you stretch all of the fascia in the front of your body, you're getting space from rib to hip as you do a big inhale and then big exhale, pull the ribs together, keep press, 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 very good. Now we'll do it to the side. Your knees stay out all the time. Hands come, thumbs at the groin, remember. Press down to stretch tall. Knees stay out, press down. And think, just stretch, think really stretch all of the rib cage up, pulling, pulling, pushing the hands. Inhale big, and then exhale, keep pressing. Very good, so that's it. Those are the two moves. You can add them throughout your day. They will be a great addition to your daily routine. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed these tips. And um, yeah, you can check out my fascia fitness cardio clinic if you really like this style of uh, instructional, very slow, very deliberate. In fact, that one is an hour workout that I've turned into two hours. So it's very, very slow and controlled. So I hope you've enjoyed this and stretch your fascia every day.